Uh, most people are uh, very surprised in the size. One of the reasons we wanted to bring it to Oshkosh is to show them that it's not this little airplane you can't see, that in fact, it's an airplane with a 66-foot wingspan, weighs 10,500 pounds at max gross weight. In the back, you see it's a pusher design with a Honeywell 331-10, 900 shaft horsepower turboprop engine. Extremely fuel efficient. With the amount of fuel that we carry in an endurance mode, we can fly upwards of 24 hours on one tank of gas. The airplane is made of all uh, honeycomb composite structure, which makes it light yet strong. Uh, the airplane is all electrically controlled. The only hydraulics are the actual wheel brake disc down there. So we have redundancy in flight controls, such as dual ailerons, dual rudder vators, dual rudder. The avionics package on board the airplane has a triple redundant avionics package. That means there are three flight computers and gyros with three separate pedostatic systems for redundancy. One goes down, you've got two more to fly the airplane. The airplane's very smart. One of the things that we have to manage is the data link, the, the signal that we talk to the airplane with, either through line of sight or with satellite over the horizon. In the worst case scenario, if something were to break and we're not talking to the airplane, it has an emergency uh, lost link mission on board that's just like a carrier pigeon. That thing will come home at the altitude, the speed, the route that I tell it to, and go around in a circle till I talk to it. Very safe, very redundant airplane. As we go along, we'll move towards the front of the airplane. One of the interesting things is kind of the bulbous nose at the top. People have been asking all day long, why is it like that? Well, we thought it looked cool if it was just like a 747. <laughs> the reality is we have a parabolic dish up there for moves in all directions to keep track of the satellite when you're flying over horizon. What that allows us to do is anywhere that satellite footprint falls in the face of the earth, we can fly this airplane. Typically, the military takes off via contractors overseas, and those missions are flown from Creech Air Force Base in Las Vegas. Really capable airplane with uh, a capability of going out 2,800 miles in 24 hours of endurance, you can cover a lot of ground. Underneath the nose, you notice is what's the Raytheon MTSB camera. About a two and a half million dollar camera worth every penny. The resolution, it's kind of hard to convey that in the numbers, but I'll give you an example. We fly at 19,000 feet. If at night on the border I detect people, I can tell they're carrying marijuana bundles up to nine miles away. I've tracked people up to 16 miles away in fairly flat terrain. We've had air interdictions where I've watched aircraft out to 32 miles away at that altitude. Very capable payload. Within that turret, there is a day camera, a low light camera, and an infrared camera. So any light spectrum, we're able to operate this airplane. You'll notice some different uh, antennas up top that look like footballs. Those are the C-band antennas. Anytime we take off and land, we have to have a data link on field somewhere. The only problem with KU is there's what's called a latency, a delay in the signal of upwards of two seconds. It makes a landing really like a rodeo event, so we don't do that. When we operate in the C-band frequency range, it's real time. So in other words, if I make a control input, it happens then. And that's what those two things are on top and the bottom. And there's a transmitter one and a transmitter two. I send a signal to the airplane, the airplane does what I want. It sends me back video image and telemetry. Telemetry is what is the engine doing? How fast am I going? So we have dual streams of C-band when we're taking off, two different transmitters and receivers, taking commands and sending information back to the ground control station. Aero TV is brought to you by. If you own a Cirrus today or if you are considering the purchase of a new or used aircraft, consider this. Avidyne, in conjunction with the country's leading Cirrus sales and maintenance facilities, has launched the G3R9 program that combines the purchase of a late model, low time Cirrus aircraft and the addition of the Avidyne Integra Release 9 avionics suite for much less than you may have thought, and certainly much less than purchasing a brand new aircraft. G3R9, combining the best airframe, best engine, and best avionics for the best value.